Okay, today we're going to show you on these quick connect fittings, some of these buttons can be a little stiff when you first get them. And so that can make uh, uh, connection and disconnection of your, your extensions difficult. So we're going to show you how to quickly remove this button, um, cut the spring, ream out the hole, and, and service this button because over time you'll need to probably service it anyway. Um, at the top of each one of these quick connect, these male quick connect fittings, you'll notice there's a set screw here. It's a 532nd um, set screw. And so we're going to use our 532nd Allen wrench. We're actually going to push this button in and remove this set screw. And then this button should fall right out. Sometimes you got to tap it. And you'll notice that there's a spring, the button, and the set screw. Those are the three parts that make up your quick connect fitting. So what we're going to do in this case, because this spring is a little uh, tense, it's a little tight, we're going to cut about one ring off of it. Just shorten it up a little bit. And then we're going to use this 3 8 reaming tool. There's extra to go into the hole and ream it out a little bit. Just kind of open it up in there. And then to reassemble this button, we're going to put the spring in here. And then you'll notice that this cutout here, that needs to face upwards because that's what you're your set screw is going to get catch a hold of so that it doesn't fall back out. And insert that. I don't know if you can see or not. And then to put this set screw back in, you've got to actually depress the button, push it in. Before we do that, we're actually going to put a little bit of semi-permanent Loctite on here. And that's a just a medium strength. So we're going to push the button in, put the set screw back in, tighten it up, and now your button should be a lot looser, a lot easier to connect and disconnect. And you can do this from time to time if you get dirt and debris in there too, you can take this set screw out, disassemble it, clean it, service it, and reassemble it.